Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 17th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your world update, including space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, as we have six active sunspot regions, and two of them definitely putting on a show and may do so in an earth-facing fashion the next couple days. We're going to be keeping an eye on this as these are some pretty complex sunspot regions looking at the last 48 hours incoming to, or sorry, the one on the left is one large sunspot and there's quite a grouping happening on the right-hand side. Looking at outgoing imagery here, watching the last frame Plasma filament eruption taking off from the left-hand side, which would be the northeast corner of our sun. You can see it lifting there in the last few images. Multi-spectrum showing the last 48 hours of events. Active regions. Watch as something fires from the south to the north. That plasma filament in the southern hemisphere. And then it causes a reaction in the northern and then plasma filament eruption in the northeast. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Looking at 171 angstroms here. Just some beautiful imagery. So grateful to be alive and to be able to experience and share these images and information with y'all. And I really thank you for tuning in every day. And as well, I appreciate your point, your patience as I'm going through some changes here with daily events, but still will be doing my best to broadcast every day. Having a look at sunspot regions here. Multiple sunspot grouping in the northwest region right now. These images are sped up. Solar X-ray flux remains in the C range right now. No major solar flares to C class. That's about it. Geomagnetic activity has hopped right down. And that's pretty much ahead of our next space weather event expected on the 19th. Solar winds are hovering around 430 kilometers per second. After getting a slight bump there earlier today, up to 499. We're going to watch those things, those winds slow down though, ahead of the space weather event. Iswa space prediction spiral showing another CME taking off outgoing faster towards Mercury yet again. Yesterday's spiral showing a glancing blow with Earth for a CME, and that is expected on the 19th. Looking at Lasco 3, all of our cosmic energy leaving the sun. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 812, whatever that means. I don't think I've seen an 8-12 before. Quick look at the telemetry there. Amplitude of 8, quality of 7.3, a power of 12. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as it has quieted down tremendously. And we're sitting at about 180 earthquakes across the world, according to USGS right now. And looking here, this is a pretty quiet map and no major earthquakes to really talk about, except the largest being the 5.1 there in Papua New Guinea. And as well, another place to show you shortly. Minahasa, Sulawesi, Indonesia just recently had a 4.3 earthquake. Minor activity through the Philippines plate. 5.1 there, Papua New Guinea. 5.1 here, Tonga region. Only a 15 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.9. 4.6 there, South Japan. And as well, a Bonin Islands region, 4.6. 4.2 at two station, Alaska. As well, a 4.4 here, southeastern Alaska. North American plate, very quiet. No notable earthquakes. A 5.1 earthquake here, Azores Islands region. Going to be keeping an eye on the Atlantic over this next few days. Atmospheric compression at work there, I think. Overlooking South America, pretty deep earthquake here. Brazil, 4.3, 635 kilometer depth. I don't think I've seen an earthquake so deep in South America. 
Attico, Peru as well, 4.3. Into the Nazca plate, 4.2 there at Malta. 4.5 here, Iran. And also here, just noticing a 4.9 that was detected in Svalbard, north of Svalbard, right off the coast of Greenland. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Heads up, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. And stay tuned for any earthquake update videos. Having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated, looking at Semeru, Indonesia, Senge, and Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, 173 active hazards right now, and a lot of them are floods. Popopacerito in Mexico. Reventador in Ecuador. Sabincaya in Peru. Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia. Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Luatolo, Indonesia. That's all in the last nine hours. Nine volcanoes updated in the last nine hours. As well, Suwis and Ajima in Japan. Having a look at satellite imagery, two large systems crashing into each other in the Atlantic. As well, lots of cloud cover and fog throughout Ontario recently. Some pretty warm gulf moisture and air moving up into there above normal temperatures. As this time last year, we had over 50 centimeters of snow that fell across Ontario. One of the largest dumpings they've seen in 50 years, they say. Having a look across the Pacific, interesting lines of moisture heading across. We're going to get into that real soon here. And as well, overlooking Africa and Europe, Russia. We have one tropical system here that is not named yet, but it is Tropical System, Tropical Cyclone 8, which will be affecting northeastern parts of Madagascar and then the islands of Mauritius and Reunion. Lots of cloud cover across Europe right now. And not much is going to be changing in the long-range forecast here. Wanted to show you this is the total precipitable water map. It looks like we have two jet streams in the northern hemisphere. Right across the Pacific right now, two atmospheric rivers of moisture heading towards the west coast of North America. And this is what our total precipital water map looks like right now. As you can see, lots of moisture heading into Europe and as well, a lot of evaporation rains across Indonesia and the equator stretching to Africa. Now let's get to Ventu Sky. World weather forecast overlooking North America first. Here we have two low pressure systems developing and merging over Colorado and we have one low trapped over Ontario right now. Northern, the center of the low is over Northern Ontario. Set to bring the rain overnight tonight. Long range forecast, things will get colder. So heads up and be ready. And as well, be ready, Colorado, as you've got quite a bit of snow falling in your area. Tuesday into Wednesday, watch for extreme weather to erupt through the Gulf states. And then rain moving into Ontario and northeastern parts of the United States. Some strong winds and snow. And then a possible superstorm here developing up along the coast. Snow on the backside for Ontario and as well, northeastern United States. Lots of moisture racing up the coast to Alaska. And a low coming out of the prairies, long range forecast, which will affect Ontario in the long range. Overlooking South America, no major systems affecting you this week. Except daily evaporation rains, no major changes. Overlooking Africa and, of course, Tropical Cyclone number 8. This is a forecast model heading towards northeastern parts of Madagascar and is going to rake down the coastline. And then watching a couple more systems here develop east of these systems. And it 
looks like it's going to track Saturday into Sunday. And it's going to gain strength heading towards Mauritius and Reunion. So definitely batten down the hatches through those small islands and as well Madagascar. Overlooking Europe, gray days ahead of you and lots of moisture coming out of the Mediterranean. Low pressure center moving in for the weekend, Friday, Saturday. And will continue spinning through the, the region for the next few days. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific. No major systems coming your way. Watch for some heavy snowfall to accumulate through Japan and then move northward to Kamchatka. Winter storm. And then overlooking Australia, New Zealand. Lots of cyclones north of you heading across New Caledonia. Solomon Islands region, and then fading out. Other than that, no major systems coming for you Aussies. Quick look here at the long-range forecast overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Right up until the end of the month here. This is what our systems look like. Looks like a low-pressure center will be trapped north of Hawaii. Watch for some he heavy surf and strong winds. Temperatures will be dropping here in the long range as well. As the polar vortex is elongated and just looking very weird right now. Definitely not its centrical circular polar vortex. Welcome to the new norm and welcome to the grand solar minimum. This is it folks, we are here. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.